Hey guys, welcome to the Photoshop Training Channel. My name is Jesus Ramirez. You can find me at Twitter at JR from PTC. I have another very exciting tutorial for you today. In this video, we'll be talking about the ability to use Camera Raw as a filter. Camera Raw is a powerful image processing engine that is very popular among photographers. Camera Raw provides photographic controls like temperature, highlights, shadows, and clarity. In Photoshop CC, you can use Camera Raw as a filter with any layer, including video. So let me show you how that works. I've opened up this image of some buildings in downtown Oakland, California. I'm going to right click on the layer, select Convert to Smart Object, because I always like working non-destructively and I suggest you do the same. Then I'm going to go into Filter, Camera Raw Filter. This is going to open up the camera raw filter and if you've used camera raw before it's going to look familiar it looks uh, pretty much identical and as I've mentioned before you can control the temperature of an image so we can make it hotter cooler control the tint you can do uh, different photographic controls I'm just gonna hold alt and click on reset to just reset uh, the image to the original settings here and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features in camera raw which is the lens correction and uh, specifically speaking the upright filter so when you open up lens correction make sure that you're in the manual tab when you open up your smart event set to color you click on manual then you can click on any of these presets to apply different perspective balances to the image here so for example you can apply a level balance which sort of straightens the image you can do this balance here which is a vertical perspective correction and this one here which is a vertical horizontal and level correction but I find that the auto balance perspective correction works best in, in most cases so click on auto I want to press P on the keyboard and that's the uh, keyboard shortcut to enable and disable the preview checkbox there so if I press P this is before and this is after so as you can see the image looks much much better it's much straighter than the original image if you want to get further control you can click and drag on these handles here and try to straighten the image a bit further so maybe I want to make this line straighter I can click and drag the controls here to straighten that line as much as possible you could also rotate the image and scale it so maybe I can bring that in so we don't have any blank areas here at the bottom like so so I'm gonna click on the preview checkbox this time and you can see the before and you can see the after so as you can see the filter works really really well and that's it for this video let me know what you think about Adobe Photoshop CC in the comments down below if you have any questions you can leave them below as well or you can head over to my Facebook Twitter or Google Plus page and leave them there if you like. If you like this video don't forget to click on the like button and share it with your friends and of course don't forget to head over to my website photoshoptrainingchannel.com where you can subscribe to my newsletter on the right hand side where I will send you an email every time I put up a new tutorial. Once again thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys next time.